And now, America's favorite hunting couple, Ralph and Vicki C. and Cerullo. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. And this week, we are heading north. Heading north to Man of Well, we're Toba. not. We're not. No, you chickened out again. No, I didn't chicken out. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Where were we? We were hunting mule deer, I think. Oh. Yeah, okay, quiet up over there. This week, we're going Manitoba. Yes. Freddie, our producer, he yeah, goes Freddy, up to... He that's, his I first forgot. Buck. It is his first deer. His first buck. His first buck. His first his buck. Yeah. Now, you know, a lot of people would say, well, you guys went up to Manitoba. You should be shooting all these big deer. And, you know, we've got big deer being taken on camera up in Manitoba. Joel and, and, and you know, Rod McGrath's yep. wife, Arlene, she, they both bust oh, yeah. monsters. And Freddy's is a monster. You know, that's his first buck with a bow. And I wish we would have remembered that because we could have had, like, Hunter Dan again. And Hope go, you're shaking. Oh, uh, uh, did, he, yeah. uh, did he cry, here, did, here, did, did, did oh. he cry again? You know what? He he might. I mean, he's so emotional that. You know what? <laughs> let's, uh, no, check. Let, let's check it out. We got to see. Yeah, it. Let, let's oh, watch. I could have been busting him even more. We're up here in Manitoba with Masson Family Wildlife Adventures. Tonight's my first night to hunt. My friend Jody's up here filming me. It's cold. It's about 25 degrees right now. The wind's blowing pretty hard, about 30 miles an hour. We're bundled up. We just got up in the tree. Let's settle in and see what happens tonight. Looks like a good spot. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now, let's go watch Freddy I'm take so it. happy. <laughs> buck. Oh, oh, it's my first buck.
windy conditions. <laughs> right now we're not faced with it, but when you are, you got to remember something. If you're going in a place, you're going to be doing a spot and stalking or even stand hunting, and that wind is pretty rough, the more things that you have on your bow, the more it can throw you off at full, you know, at full anchor, ready to shoot. So, practice with that quiver off. Practice with all less things because the less amount of things on that bow in a windy condition, the better off and more stable you'll be. Spitfire, baby. If that isn't beautiful, I don't know what is. We know we can go right up here. He's in the road, so we'll go up here and find him next door. There's my dog. <laughs> first buck. Oh, baby. Let's count him. One, two, three, four. He's got a little bit of a sticker right here. It's an eight-pointer, folks. We are up here in Manitoba, Canada. We're hunting with Masson Family Wildlife Adventures. George and Russ, the guys from Bullseye, set us up on this hunt. <sighs> Jody and George sat this stand a couple nights ago. This is actually my first night to hunt. We had some, oh, I gotta gain my composure. We had uh, we had two does and another small buck come through and uh, he just didn't give me a shot, otherwise I'd have took him. And uh, Jody said that he heard this one grunting behind us. I grunted a couple times in about five minutes. Here he come. He came right in front of me and as you see, he gave me a shot that I just could not pass up. I wanna say thanks to Ralph and Vicky 
the guys at Bullseye, Michael and Robert Masson. I know this may not look like a trophy to a lot of you guys. <clears throat> and excuse me if I get a little choked up. But uh, I've been hunting for 15 years. And this is the first buck I've ever killed with horns I can grab onto. And uh, it's just incredible. You know, a lot of people ask us why we do this and why we get the joy out of it. And I'll tell you what, this makes it worth it right here. It just, I've been waiting my whole life to be able to grab a set of horns. Been hunting since the age of 10. Never killed anything bigger than a button buck. And like I said, I know this may not be a trophy to a lot of you guys out there. I don't care. This is a trophy to me. I'm taking this bad boy back home to Illinois. And he's going to be put on my wall. Man, oh man. What a day. What a hunt. What a way to start off the deer season. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <clears throat> oh, you've been a long time coming, my friend. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now it's Joel Penner's turn. It's my understanding that Joel snuck out of the house and he was like really, really sick, which I understand, you know, when you're sick, you still want to go out there hunting. I do it all the time. But Joel, if she would have found out, you'd have been in big trouble. sick. I shouldn't even be out here. I was supposed to stay in tonight. My wife is not happy with me. But the day was, it was such a perfect evening. We came out. The deer are supposed to be coming in front of us through the woods. We're in the funnel here, but this buck came behind us. Oh, man, he walked out. I had a hard time judging him and uh, how the, the yardage, but uh, he walked in. He, I, I have a spot this wide. He walks into it. He winded us. Backed up a bit. Turned around. Walked back into my little shooting lane. I made a judgment, and I think I judged him right because I'm pretty sure I fell. So I'll fall over there. That thing is in. That thing is. That's a giant buck. That is by far my best deer ever. We looked at the tape. It looks like a, a really good hit. You have to rewind the tape. You running tracks are right there and I'm pretty sure I saw him wipe out just over over there so we're just gonna walk over there but we're gonna do it quietly because this is still an awesome area we don't want to spoil the bush too badly so we'll just see if we can find him just by walking where I saw him last but he should be right there
this is a nice bucket. Wow. <clears throat> what a beauty. What a beauty. This is early. This is the first year we've seen. <laughs> I just have no words for this. He's on. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Well, now, Joel, you, you smashed a big one. And now it's our Lean McGrath's turn. Poor Rod. Why? Why is it? You go, girl. Her first, her first, first buck. kill with a yeah buck. Yeah, with her bow, and it's got to be like a monster. It's a monster. Girl power, you rule. Hey, honey, is this better than sewing? <laughs> Yo. Why your girlfriends hate you now just for saying that? I love all things domestic, yes, but this was such a rush. <laughs> great show didn't we we really did you know it was lots of great manitoba deer manitoba man. manitoba hey hey eh? eh? by god manitoba you know and freddie he didn't cry no freddie was pumped you know and a lot of times you know a lot of people would say well why would you go to canada you know and because that wasn't a, what a lot of people would consider a big buck but you want to know something once again it proves our statement that we've always said and it doesn't matter with what you, you know, you hunt right. with, nor what you take. Everything should be considered a trophy. And that's, that's right. Freddie's first buck. And that, yeah, <laughs> that's so cool. And we and got it on film. Most, more than anything, guess what? That's on his wall. That's Isn't right. that cool? Yeah, and, and it just gives lane. us something else to bust him on. Our too, lane. So. <laughs> oh. That was a pig. Good job. Joel didn't do too bad. I hope you know, but, but I think Rod probably, Rod and Joel probably put her in the I, right spot because that. that's what Our us lead, guys really do. You know, no. we, we focus no. on I'm trying really to get sure you Rod girls and Joel know good a whole shots bunch and about deer hunting. I know they know a lot about moose hunting, but I don't think they know a whole bunch about deer hunting. So I would have to give Arlene all the credit. So remember, we want you to come back next week, same time. Same station. Right here on the Archer's Choice. They're going to kill you. I know.